WBZ's Laura Hafley spoke to some people who are quite relieved that Lee was a miss. Coastal communities in Massachusetts were prepared for the now post-tropical cyclone Lee. It's not the worst time I've seen. Despite the dud, Cape Cod lobsterman Jeffrey Richardson knows better than to jinx a storm. If you don't do anything, it's going to be bad. If you spend half the day hauling traps, bringing traps in, prepping your boat, it's going to be minimal. Richardson packed up his P-Town home, hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. I've seen it cover this parking lot, we wouldn't be standing here right now. Though Hurricane Lee only sideswiped the state, damage was still done, including a close call in Cohasset after a tree crushed a police car. With Hurricane Lee now in the past, it's time to clean up the mess it left behind. We're making restoration efforts, particularly down there on Cape Cod. Eversource spokesperson Chris McKinnon tells WBZ work crews are stationed statewide, ready to repair what's broken. With any storm, we really are concerned about trees and tree limbs coming down onto the power lines. But with high winds, crews may have to wait to get started. You might see them out there in your neighborhood getting ready to do the work. It just might be a little bit too windy still for them to go up in the bucket trucks and make those physical repairs to the system. Eversource tells WBZ they're working on new technologies to better protect against outages, including stronger power poles and thicker wiring. They're also developing a backup battery in Provincetown to help support the Outer Cape. Laura Hafley, WBZ News.